Hi, Paul here from Photogenius in Brisbane. Now, if you are a keen Nikon photographer, watch this video because I've got some great tips for you. So if you have any of the recent Nikon digital SLR cameras, this is the Nikon D3400, then I've got a couple of great tips for you today. So when I've taken a picture, one of the first things I do is press the playback button on the back of the camera. That way I get a chance to see if the picture's any good. If it's not great, then I have an opportunity to take another photo and have another go at it. So reviewing your images is extremely important. And my first tip is all about that, reviewing and playing back your photos. So one of the first things I do after I've taken a picture is to press the playback button and check the picture out. I want to be sure the picture's sharp. So I use the plus button here, which allows you to zoom in. I then use the joystick over here to the right of the camera to move around and check the image out. I can zoom in very close and see lots of detail. Now there's two ways of zooming out. You can press the minus button, but you have to press it quite a few times. A quicker way of doing this is to simply press the OK button. Being able to look back at your picture and check sharpness and focus is incredibly important. But another great function with digital cameras is being able to go back and look at the settings that you used at the time you took that image. Now with most cameras you can do this very easily, but annoyingly with most Nikon cameras, particularly the latest digital SLR cameras like this one, this is a function which needs turning on. And it's hidden away in the menu. I'm going to show you how you do it. So I'm going to show you how to change the playback options on the Nikon camera. At the moment, we're reviewing an image here and we can only see the image in one view. And this doesn't really tell us much about the image. It doesn't tell us what the camera settings were when we took this picture. To change this, however, is very easy. We start by pressing menu. We then move up to the playback menu, over to the right, down to playback display options over to the right again, and you'll see a few options. Now we're not gonna select all of these. I'm gonna select my favorites, which is highlights and overview. We press the okay button to enter, shutter button lightly just to get out of the menu. And now when you look at the playback, you will see we have the standard view as well as a overview and highlights page. So let's go through these one by one. This is the standard view. You always have this. Up or down changes the view. This is the overview page. And as the name suggests, this gives us an overview of the camera settings. The shutter speed, the aperture, the ISO, focal length, and also histogram. Press up again, highlights page. Notice the flash in top left. The highlights page is particularly useful because what it will do is it will highlight any overexposed portions of your image by flashing them. A very useful function indeed. So the next tip I have for you is all about the camera's ISO function. Now we're not gonna go into ISO in great detail in this short video, but all you need to know for now is this. If you increase your camera's ISO, in effect, you're making the camera sensor more sensitive to light and that makes the image brighter. If you decrease the ISO, you make your camera sensor less sensitive to light, and in effect, that will make the image darker. We're now gonna look at the ISO function on the Nikon camera, and the first thing we're gonna do is turn auto ISO off. Press the menu button, select shooting menu, ISO sensitivity settings, over to the right, and you move down to auto ISO sensitivity control. You'll see it's turned on. We're gonna select off, press okay, and press the shutter button just here, to get out of the menu. The ISO can now be changed manually and the camera will not override this. To change the ISO, we can press the I button, use the joystick here to navigate over to the ISO function, which is on the right. Press OK and we can select the appropriate ISO setting based on what we want to do. This camera has an ISO range of 100 to 25,600 ISO. Somewhere between two and 400 is where I like to leave the camera most of the time. 
Now another great way of changing the ISO, and in my view a more effective way of changing ISO, is to use the function button on the camera. Not all the Nikon cameras have this, but if you do, it's likely to be on the left hand side of the body here, and that means you can just hold it in with your thumb, turn the control dial on the back of the camera, and you can change the ISO instantly. It's also very easy to do this when you've got the camera up at your eye. You don't need to spend any time looking at the screen or the back of the camera to do this. Fantastic. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've got some great tips for taking better photos with your Nikon camera. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave your comments below. Also, if you're interested in the gear that I use both personally and for doing these videos, there are more details in the links below the video, so make sure you click on that and check it out. I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya!